Hello everyone, I'll be showing you the tag command. Uh, this command is a particularly useful command um, that I use relatively often. It lets you differentiate between different um, entities. So in this case, we're differentiating between different armor stands and be giving you guys sort of a, a basic example in just a moment uh, for what I mean for players. Now, a tag is very different than, like, for example, a player name. It's also different than a scoreboard, um, but it's also very similar to a name or a scoreboard. So what we can do with it is execute at, at e with a tag of, let's say, is equal to B. Then we can run a set block. Um, uh, there we go. We can run a set block, uh, let's say two blocks above, and we can make it glass. And we only set the blocks above the ones that are tagged with B. And again, that command was execute. I'm um, sorry, the wrong one. We have this one here we did a tag at e type is equal to armor stand in radius of two so basically only um working on the one armor stand that's within you know just that small radius so i could just do each individual armor stand and we tagged it with a and then b and then a and then b and then a so then for the next one what we can do is we could do this as gold block um which actually i forgot to change this to a there we go we could actually set that to a now and then let's uh let's do this one as glass again so there we go so now we have that working just like that now one reason this is super useful is because you could have a player and the player has their name and then you can have them have a specific class and that class could be a tag we could tag for example you know mr jcraft in this case there we go mr jcraft as you know for example an archer class there we go now now i am an archer then what we could do is we could also do a scoreboard and give myself a scoreboard to keep track of my levels then you could create a dungeon where you're all you get specific loot if you're an archer versus if you are you know for example a a warrior or if you are a rogue or whatever else or you could do mini games this way and be able to differentiate between different kinds of players or different classes of players or you know uh, what the players have done or versus what they haven't done like for an rpg if they have talked to a npc versus if they have not talked to an npc there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do with this and it is quite cool to say the least if you guys do want to know how scoreboards work, I actually already have a video um, that you guys can check out. I will have it linked in the description. Um, besides that, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the link. Also, hope you guys have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.